In DaVinci Resolve, you have the ability to group clips and apply effects on the whole group. Let's see how this can happen. We have here three clips. They are on the same subject and somehow we can group them. To group the clips, first of all, you have to select them. So you press Ctrl or Command on the Mac and you click on each clip. So now there are the three of them selected. You right click on any of them and you go to the group sub menu over here. And you have the option add into a new group. Here you are. Let's call this group doll because there is a doll somewhere. And we click OK. Now you know these clips belong to a group because of the chain link just over here. OK? You have the chain link here. It means this clip belongs to a certain group. To know which group it belongs to, you can right click and say to groups. And here it is. It belongs to the group doll. You can add another clip to this group. You select the clip, you right click and go to groups and doll and you can assign to group. Here you are. So now this clip is assigned to the group doll. You can also remove it from the group by right clicking and you can say remove from group. Now let's select one clip in the group and if you go back to the graph and twirl it down, you will have two new options, group pre-clip and group post-clip. What does it mean? If you go to the group pre-clip, now you are in the chart of group pre-clip. Any effect you apply on any nodes that you put here will affect all the clips before the clip chart. Let's say, for example, we make them all blue. Here you are. Make them all blue. You notice all the group has become blue. So this effect over here will be applied before the clip nodes. Okay, notice that now the first node from this clip it has already inherited whatever was in the group pre-clip. Let's go to group post-clip. In the group post-clip, whatever effect you apply to any of the nodes here or collection of nodes if you like, will be applied after the clip nodes. First you start with the group nodes, then the clip nodes, then the group post-clips. So this is the last effect that you will apply on the whole group. For example, I don't know, let's make it very dark. Okay, something like this. We are making them even yellow. Now you notice how they all became yellow. So the order of execution here is very easy. You start with a group pre-clip. So you start with blue. Then the clip itself. So you have color correction for the clip and grading maybe. And then you go back to group post-clip. This is the last one for the group. And then if you have anything in the timeline, it will apply, of course, to the whole timeline. So this is the concept of groups. Thank you, guys. I will see you in the next lecture.